Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for this day, Thursday, May 14th. I'm Dan Gutman, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church, and I'm so glad that you're here. Let us begin. On this day, we remember Brother Juniper, a companion of Francis of Assisi. Brother Juniper is remembered as a fool for Christ, and there are all sorts of wild stories about his antics. He was notorious for constantly giving his possessions away and living with a winsomeness that sometimes got him into trouble. At one point, he was ordered by a superior not to give away his outer garment to the beggars anymore. But it wasn't long before he met someone in need who asked him for some clothing. He said, my superiors told me under obedience not to give my clothing to anyone, but if you pull it off my back, I certainly won't prevent you. Francis is said to have joked about how he wished for a forest of junipers. O oh Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. A reading from Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the people and the poor with justice. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and the poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. John Chrysostom, a 4th century preacher and bishop of Constantinople, wrote, Tell me, then, how is it that you are rich? From whom did you receive it, and from whom did he transmit it to you? From his father? From his grandfather? But can you, ascending through many generations, show the acquisition just? It cannot be. The root and origin of it must have been injustice. Why? Because God, in the beginning, did not make one person rich and another poor. He left the earth free to all alike. Why then, if it is common, have you so many acres of land while your neighbor has not a portion of it? Will you pray with me the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, you did not withhold even your life for our benefit. If nothing is too much to offer you, remind us that nothing is too much to sacrifice for our siblings in need. Amen. Now may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Thanks for joining me on this day. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.